back at East Rutherford, New Jersey. Penn State won the toss and elected to defer and give Temple the choice, and Temple will receive the opening kickoff as we're getting set to play in absolutely gorgeous weather. 72 degrees, little or no wind, the sun is out, the humidity at 52%. We are playing on AstroTurf, as you know, from uh, St. Giants Stadium over the years. Temple is the home team, and they will receive as we begin play here. This is the 33rd time these two teams have played. And you can see the Temple last won in 1941. Long time ago, Mike. down and Penn State stops the uh, defense for you the 4-3 Brandon Noble Chris Snyder Matt Fornadel Brandon Short up front Brandon Noble leading the way and the strong linebackers Aaron Collins Gerald Filardi Jim Nelson that's a strong part of this Penn State defense their linebackers are very solid Brian Miller the left cornerback and the star of the secondary Penn State's got a strong defense this year and they're off to an unbeaten start to run the ball again in a game of a battle. A big offensive football team. Unsuccessful trying to beat this quick Penn State. Big hole. Big hole. Eugene Colbert for a first down here that went out of bounds. Morris, a handoff to Colbert at that time. He's going nowhere. Brandon Noble, the senior linebacker. Second and ten now for Burris. Goes to the handoff again. Colbert breaks it outside. And comes inside in a gain of about seven. and he's going to be stopped short. Temple, so let's see if Burris goes to the air. Just underway, Culbert going anywhere. Penn State comes up big. Well, they went to the well maybe once too often on the drive, and Penn State stands them up. Look how low the Penn State defensive linemen are. Aaron Collins comes up, sticks. Raymond Lee, and now Wally Richardson gets his first shot at it. Temple controlling the ball for the first four minutes of the game. Penn State for their own 32. Curtis Enos dancing, and a gain of about four. Here's a look at our Wheaties starting lineups, brought to you by Crispy's Wheaties and Raisins. The Raisins cereal with a big crunch. Penn State, as you can see, with some stars at the skill position, and their offensive line is strong as well. Barry Tilsch, Bill Anderson, Kevin Conlon, Pete Marzik leading the way there. Anderson with a fake, rolling left, looking now to go up top, has a man open, and the kick made. Joe Jervis beat the defense, and Penn State with a big gain of 44 yards. Great touch by all day in the pocket. Great play fake when you can run the football. Play fakes really set up. Rolls out of the pocket, has all day. Really throws the ball only one place that his receiver can catch it. Temple secondary just a little bit late. Penn State from the 25-yard line after the 44-yard game. Curtis Enos stops, breaks the tackle, but Temple rushing to the ball. Richardson fakes, looking in the flat. Catch made, tackle made nicely that time. And Penn State on first down, goes to Davis, breaks the tackle, and he's in for a touchdown. The Nittany Lions, Aaron Harris. Harris just kept on moving toward the end zone and carried people in for six. Living room, Penn State coming off the ball. Good job, Kevin Conlon, Bill Anderson. You know, you talk about leg drive, powerful running backs. Six pounds. Penn State with a 7-0 lead. Temple goes from the 20-yard line. They have yet to throw a pass in the game. Eugene Colbert has stopped for a loss two this year. Burris back to pass. In trouble. Cannot get loose. And the sack by Brandon Noble. The senior was Cardona. Quick move by Noble. Good penetration. Basically, Henry Burris has no chance in the pocket. He's coming off strep throat, which kept him out of last week's game. Here's Enos on the pitch, does break a tackle. Right there, and a gain of about seven. You must be. 
Wally Richardson with an ideal situation. Second and third goes to Enid, shifting and finding an opening and gaining for the Nittany Lions. Richardson back with time. Has someone open in the flat drop. Oh, he had the receiver. Keith Epps. Get from Conway is up. It's long enough. And it is good. A 49-yard bomb from Brett Conway. He could have kicked it from 60. Nice light air. 950 pass attempts. And he can throw it going either way. Now the fake eludes one rusher. Wants to go up top, has a man deep, and just overthrew him. Third and ten for Henry Burris at the 20. Dropping back, rushed on. Looked like a screen set up. Looking for help, can't find any. Burris continues to roll out, and he's going to be sacked. A loss of five yards. Position. Jim Nelson blitzing. Looks as if they're trying to set up a screen. Penn State's defensive lineman read that. Sit down. Cover the back, and obviously this much to rest. What he's doing. Who wouldn't with a team like this? Curtis Enos. Gain of about four yards. He is the standard which other people are judged by. Richardson with plenty of time has Enos for a first down inside the, the final point. minute of the first quarter. Inside Enos dodging tacklers and inside the not dominating. <laughs> Curtis Enos off the pitch, sliding inside, and again a gain close to a lead. lead. Inside the 10. And off inside. Harris. Iron toward the end zone. And they're going to call it a touchdown. Aaron Harris just exploded toward the end zone and would not be stopped. Good job by the center blocking off. Aaron Harris is going to hand it off to you while you're eating popcorn. Good job. Good job. Burris on the handoff again, and the drive slides up near the 25-yard line Eight on fourth and one, and since then, they haven't been able to move it. Here's Burris, third and five. It's a man and a first down. Great pick. So Temple has a first down on the pass from Burris to Kersey as they work their way out of their own territory. Burris looks one way, then the other way. Now he's out of the pocket and running. Gets down before any important play in football. Third down. Temple thus far, one for four on third down. Burris on a roll on. Yes, he had his man. Faked out, and he's got the first down. Temple's fourth first down. Again, the play fake. Burris in trouble. And he's going to be sacked. A late rush coming from Brandon Noble. Harris had no one to throw the ball to. Uh, sits back in the pocket. All day. No one is open. Winds up eating the football. We talk about turnovers. Brandon Noble has been all over the football all field early in this game. From Virginia Beach, Virginia, 6'2". Didn't she used to have one of those? No, I guess not. Oh, the draw on a big gainer from McBride. Still on his feet. Inside the 40-yard line. This is a team that can really be hurt next year by senior graduation. 18 of their 22 starters on offense. Burris connects, but they're in time. So first and 10 at the 20. Burris throws off, kicked off. And this could go all the way back. Brian Miller inside Temple territory near the 42-yard line. It looked as if there was some confusion by the wide receiver. He didn't expect the ball to be coming to him. I think Brian Miller is as excited and as shocked as anybody. Kareem Gilliard was the intended receiver, we think. Brian Miller, the senior one. Something they've been very good at is not turning the ball over. That's only their fifth turnover this season. Reverse. The reverse is coming. Durovicius has a couple men to beat, and he cannot do it. Good on third down. Third and four. This time, Temple is equal to the ten. line once again Ostrowski leading the way once you get past that first wave of defenders it's an open field 
back the days of glory. Washington and Redskins ran this play forever. 60 counter tray. It worked uh, It worked for us. It's working for Penn State. Curtis Enos shows some breakaway speed for a big man. Burris drops. Steps up. seven-yard line. And inside, huge hole, and close to a first down. It's not good when your safeties are the ones making the tackle. Big explosion up the middle of the field. Goes 10 yards without getting tough. The defensive line for Temple seems to be getting a little bit tired. Richardson comes it over the middle. Sharp throw. Tuncho Brown is from my area in the country. He is from Winston-Salem, Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Went to Parkland High School. Next year in the draft. He's from nearby Irvington, New Jersey. Throw out the flat and not nearly far enough for Lucas at about his 10-yard line. It's a high kick spiraling toward the goal line, and it will kick into the end zone. Like Easier. Got a screen play. Just the screen and smelled out beautifully that time. Eugene, final minute of the first half. Burris dropping. Has to get Had to be helped off the field. Here's another look. In the pocket. His protection breaks down. Obviously, he's got a left knee brace on. I don't know if he hurt his knee. Return. There go. Plenty of time to kick it. Good kick up near midfield, near the sideline. Gets made right down the right sideline. Snyder with a good return Yarder this afternoon. They've out, out gained Temple 2-1 to one so far in the first half. Richardson back. Pressure on. Throws in the flat. Complete. 4 to nothing. Ball fake. Richardson time. Finds a man. Inside the 20. The 10. It's down near the two-yard line. Chris Eberle in the junior jersey nearly took it in for six. We talk about protection. Wally Richardson has all day. Great vision by Richardson. Can't give a running back that type of open field. Look at this hit by Corey Green. Penn State, 13 seconds left in the half. Temple defense went left. Muncho State had time. Took advantage of it. Wally Richardson, the senior, just as you would expect, drives his team downfield. Hits Brown with the touchdown. Penn State looking to go. He'll go to one knee, and that'll do it. The first half, all Nittany Lions, ranked number five in the country. They've shown why. Now let's take a look at our Discover Card halftime statistics. Some interesting numbers, 246 to 85 in yardage, but how about time of possession? Temple had the ball for 16 minutes. And who would have ever thought Penn State would throw the ball more than Temple the first half? Obviously with 31 so points down. Penn State threw the ball more than Temple did. Here's the opening kickoff of the second half, taken by one of the receivers up close in a fullback-like run. 16-yard return by Bob Stevenson. I'm corrected. The tight end sets up Penn State with a first down. And Richardson has a wide-open receiver up near the Giants, of course. That should be an interesting game, huh? Uh, yes, I guess, guess you're right. Long pass off the hands of Juravicius. Yeah, play football in, in practice. They wear green and red and purple jerseys. and Let them play. Strong arm of Richardson, and that's the flag. Nothing against a nationally ranked team. How do you play the second half? Do you hang in physically? And and what do you tell your team? We yeah, mentioned earlier on hand, Dick Haley, the uh, player personnel poncho with the Jets, was up in the uh, media area. That's one yards. It's up. 
it. It's long enough, and it's good. Brett Conway has set a career high, a 52-yard field goal. Penn State 34, Temple nothing. Four to nothing. Obviously throwing situations. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Temple hands it off, and they're going to play with in Washington. Lance Mel, and maybe my favorite Penn Stater of all time. How about Matt Millen? Matt Millen would have appreciated that sack right there. Holding on the defense. That's a 10 yard penalty for the previous spot. Big. They were driving deep in Penn State territory. There's my man again, Brandon Noble. Making the other. Barely got it, it off. Just got it off. Bonner in the flat. Has a man, but up to make a tackle. Breaking the tackle and going for this a first. Ron made last week after the Bowling Green game. His team went in overconfident. And I'm thinking to myself, a team that has played four years. And they certainly, with the Big East schedule facing them, cannot afford that. A penalty marker goes down, and so does Pat Bonner. On third and four, let's see what Penn State does. I doubt they'll take the penalty. You know, but if you're going to hold him, do a good job holding. <laughs> Don't let him get back to your holding quarterback. On the offense. There are his career numbers, and he threw one notable touchdown pass as they handed off on first down. A gain of about nine yards. He made a bigger impact than Joe Paterno. Well, I played Pop Warner football. That might have been the crescendo of my career. Here's McQuarrie throwing, and a good throw on target. Kyle Brady, of course, playing for the New York Jets. One of the great tight ends. Third and ten from the 44-yard line. McQuarrie, the receiver. There was some bumping in the secondary. Very talented defense. Offense has been very efficient today. Then you give them a short field. Going wide and room to run. A big... And a ball loose on first down. Somebody dropped it. Bonner on the... Back come into the game. Uh, typically, he and the center do not work a lot during the week. Henry Burris is your quarterback. Missed exchange. Brother Leave Burris. it on the... Thanks, John Sanders. And this team really turned into a well-oiled machine. The pass is complete. And inside the 20 running backs, so powerful. A lot of leg drive. On the sweep and the cutback. Drive for the Penn State offensive line is going to be as big as anybody in the nation. Both guys, 315, 320 beat them since 1941. That's a long time. Everly, a cutback, and now it's... Third and two, and the handoff. And a big stop by the Owls. Away from 33 yards away for a touchdown. Penn State hands off. It's Everly cutting back into the end zone. Chris Everly, from three yards away, has given Penn State... Kevin Conlon, Chance Bright, huge, huge hole up inside. Everly... North and south, we talk about it. This defense only has two players over 250 pounds. And today's football Eleven games last year made one start. Fire now on third and eight. Back to pass. Guns it in. It's complete for him here this afternoon. Big handoff being taken. Fire rolling. Rolling. Upfield. An open man is caught. In the NFL stadium. Oh, yeah. You can hear it. You can. You can hear it loud and clear. I thought you were so on the game itself. It's well, nothing. I'm not going to tell you what the fingers look like on this man's hands, but they are going. Fire slips. Mm -hmm. team, team that's improving. Tough day today. Uh, the big game. Some of the top numbers in the country as far as graduation rates. The guys that I have played with and played against in Penn State, solid citizens. These guys are the top. Penn State on first and ten. And they're now it was dead. We have unsportsmanlike conduct on the defense. Unsportsmanlike conduct on the offense. The down is, remains the same. Well, in 94, they were unbeaten. Murray is brought down. And a penalty play. Yeah. A bracketed playoff. That's my, that's my, ooh, what a hit. Penn State third and three in trouble. McCreary cannot get out of it. Temple with a sack and a big. Here's the kick, and it's high toward the goal line. Penn State a chance. Oh, they cut to the line, but it hit the goal line. Near college. Temple starts.
starts on their 20, and if that sounds familiar, as McBride takes it up for a strong final in the air. And Joe Paterno, of course, Pat Bonner, trouble. Down he goes. Inside. Trust. Got a little bit of help from Courtney Brown also. Offensive line, simply not He's allowed. Backed up. Quick snap, kick away. It's a low wobbly kick on a bounce. Taken at the 47. And room to room for Chuck Pensenick. Let's take the talented football team. We've talked about Harris. They are so deep at running back. Breaks the tackle, spins. Watch this little hip shake right there. Penn State running the football very efficiently. There's a handoff to the big pull. Legs churning, but Ron Dickerson looking on and the final 14 seconds, Penn State has the ball inside the five of Temple, and uh, we'll see if they run a play or they go to one knee, and that's the way they'll end it. Paterno lets the clock run out and heads across the field to his former assistant, Ron Dickerson, following a 41-0 shutout. Both men have a lot of respect for one another. What do you suppose he's saying right now? Well, Paterno's probably saying, you know, Ron, you got your program going in the right direction. You're, You're making some strides, but not today against the fifth-ranked Nittany Lions. It's Penn State 41, Temple nothing. Let's go back to the Big East studio now. John Sanders has more on college football this Saturday. John?